Well, at the start of the second half, they came out, put a good drive together, got that field goal made 13-16, and it seemed like y'all just shut them down after that. Did something change in your strategy, or I mean, what happened? I mean, like you said, they came out in, uh, uh, out the halftime and had a great, a good drive versus us. And after they scored the field goal, you know, we came to the sideline, you know, fired up, you know, pissed off that you know we let that we let them do this, man. You know, that's not our defense. Um, and you know, after that, you know, we just decided that we, we're going to step it up a notch, man, and play our defense, man, and, and shut them out. You always hear coaches and players talking about wanting to take away the run, but you held their quarterback, you held them, their offense to under 100 yards passing. Will you take that as far as your effort to make them one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know that at all, but you know, we'll take that. You know, uh, you know, of course, you know, they tried to establish the run game on us, and you know, we we did, you know, we did okay. We feel like in that aspect, but passing wise, though, keeping them, keeping the quarterback under 100 yards in the conference USA, man, that's, that's pretty good, man. That's a, that's a winning formula for uh, for your defense. When they rotated quarterbacks, they brought in 15, their backup. Right. He never threw a pass. He either ran the ball six times or gave it to running backs. From what you saw on film, did you know that he wasn't going to drop back and put the ball in the air? Yeah, you know, he only had uh, three three uh, completed passes. I think he had on like five attempts. So, yeah, you know, we playing the percentages uh, that he's going to, you know, either keep it uh, on like the little counters that you're seeing or give it to the running back. So, yeah, we just playing the posi- uh, percentages. Seems like the offense finally got going on all cylinders today. They kind, did that kind of help fire the defense up that you find in the, you know, scoring support? Uh, for sure. You know, uh, we uh, – you know, we play off of them. They play off of us. So it, it's great to see, you know, Gary Gilbert slinging it like he does, man. It's just a great feeling. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's it's great to see him uh, throwing it. You know, DJ making great plays. Bird, uh, Toke, all the receivers, man. And Zach Ryan, you know, doing what he always does. So it's a great feeling. You a little bit disappointed. No defensive touchdown this time. <laughs> that definitely was one of our defensive goals uh, this week because, you know, uh, we're undefeated when we score on defense. So we made that. Once again, we made that our goal for this uh for this uh this game, but it didn't happen. But you know, we're not mad. You know, still got the uh, W in all the minutes. Garrett, this week, you know, offense did everything right. It seemed like finally everything was running. Put up almost 500 yards of total offense. I mean, is that a good feeling coming off the field after that? Without a doubt. Um, you know, I thought in the first half we did a great job of uh, putting together some drives, and uh, we just couldn't quite get in the end zone. Um, so uh, it was great in the second half, you know, we, we started getting some explosive plays and uh, putting the ball in the end zone. You know, it seems like you took it into your own hands down there towards the goal line a couple of times, running it in yourself. I mean, did you ever imagine yourself having more rushing touchdowns than throwing touchdowns? <laughs> uh, it's happened before, but rarely. Um, you know, that's with, with, with what they did on defense, dropping eight a lot into coverage. Um, sometimes that's, you know, the only thing that's there. And, um, Coach has been, coach was preaching to me all week, you know, don't force the ball into coverage. And so that was kind of my mindset going into the game. Um, you know, I think I even maybe took a little bit too cautious of an attitude at times. There was receivers open and I was, you know, sitting there waiting. So, um, you know, it, it, that's just, that was just part of the plan this week. You know, Zach Line turned into another solid performance, over 100 yards rushing in the first half alone. How much did that help the passing game in the second half? Uh, with... You know, with, with, it, it always helps have a guy like Zach on your team. Um, they have to respect the run so much. And you start seeing them bring guys down into the box. Um, I thought they did a very good job. You know, obviously, you said he has over over 100 in the first half, um, and only 131 total. I thought I thought they did a good job coming down and making and being able, to, you know, and stopping the run, making some plays in the second half, and, and you know that opened things up for our receivers, left them in one on one coverage. What kind of bragging rights do you get when you have more rushing touchdowns than Zach? I hadn't even thought about that yet, but I got something. <laughs> How important was it for you? There's been some talk about the short yardage <coughs> offense or the red zone offense this year. You get four short rushing touchdowns in the red zone. How critical was that for the confidence of this offense going forward down the stretch? It's big. Like I said, in the first half, you know, kind of saw some things where you know we, we had the ball in our own 25 and we would take it down just outside of field goal range and be forced to punt or turnover on downs. And then um, you started to see some things start to click for us in the second half, which is which is big. Come some receiver Darius obviously made it, made some great plays um, after the catch, um, and then you know, it, again, it's all about attitude down there in the red zone. And I think um, we we've been working really hard on it, so it's great to see it out there, you know, come to fruition and, and, and work for us. Speaking of Darius Johnson, he's had something like 18 catches, almost 300 yards in the past two games, 141 today. What's been the difference in him than at the start of the season? <coughs> um. You know, I, he's just out there. He's just out there being him. He's just making making some plays for us. Um, I don't know what to tell you. You know, he's obviously um, an incredible receiver. Um, very does a very good job. Um, 
you know, he, he's out there working every single day and, uh, you know, staying out there after practice, you start to see our timing um, improve and we're starting to um, see the same thing on defense and the ball's getting there, the ball's getting there to him quicker and, you know, he, um, obviously, he's an incredible athlete and can make plays with it when he has it in his hands. Last question. Did, did Bush talk to you guys before the game? Uh, he did. Yeah. Um, what did he say? Think, and what is that like to uh, uh, He like? told us to uh, kick ass. That's about it. So, um, he, um, you know, it, it's it's incredible. It's an incredible opportunity to get to meet a guy like that, and then to have him come back and then give us a you know kind of a, a pep talk before before a game is is uh, you know it's pretty special. I don't think too many teams have the opportunity to have that. Um, so I'm you know definitely feel honored to to be able to get to meet him. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Yeah. Thank you.